What's the most infuriating first world problem? When automatic sinks don't sense your hand at the right time and you're just fisting the air with a handful of soap. Not having food in the fridge, only ingredients to make food, but you're too tired and hungry to cook it. Being bored on the internet. Having at your disposal 150 cable TV channels, on demand, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, etc. as well as 500 DVDs on the shelf, but there's still nothing good on. When you reach over to grab some water on the nightstand and accidentally spill it over your phone, tablet, wallet and have to wake TF up and dry everything off really fast, and you still don't even get your water. Clamshell plastic packaging. When you hit the restart button instead of shut down. Someone put a pepperoni pizza hot pocket in my box of meatball hot pockets. Cooked a meatball hot pocket and got pepperoni pizza. Having so much food in your fridge and pantries that you become exhausted at the possibilities of cooking it, so you just eat out. Getting pissed at my phone for hanging on to the one last bar of wifi when I can switch over to data. Please, if you're commenting about the Android settings to fix this, please please refrain from doing so. This is my new first world problem now. Watching a new TV show that's amazing, but knowing that it's extremely unlikely you will ever be able to find a TV show similar to said one that invokes feelings just as great. When my internet starts glitching out, I have to get my lazy ass up, unplug the router, stand there like an idiot for 29 seconds, then plug it back in. Oh woe is my life. Complaining about the quality of the food brought directly to your lap, while you lay back, watching movies, drinking wine and flying majestically though the sky like a 21st century fats lobby unicorn. Everything being connected to the internet, and relying on it. I couldn't do my washing this morning, because the internet was down where I live. When you're going through self-serve at the supermarket and you take your groceries off wait thing too early, so it thinks you're stealing. Then it stops, and says wait for assistance, so you have to awkwardly wave over the attendant. If you enjoyed the stories, slap the like and subscribe button for more of them, and don't forget to support the original writers with an upvote, links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.